Okay, this tutorial is about uh, creating unit pages for each course. Um, so basically to set the stage, uh, we have a subject page and then you have all your courses listed. Um, and then uh, you can click on that subject page and we have the units listed. So uh, the next step is to create a page for each unit or chapter or however you break it out. Um, so it's going to be very similar to creating a course page with a couple of differences. So first I'm going to go into the edit mode and then I'm going to choose the page that I'm going to create. I'll start with unit one and I'm going to go to the link button and I'm going to create a new page because it's not there and I'm going to call it something that references back to the actual course that I'm in. Um, so uh, say honor, um, honors English. See this is a unit so It's actually just a little bit of shorthand to let me know that that page goes in Honors English 10. Um, and the reason that it's a good idea to do something like this when we're talking about units is because at some point, uh, the way that this Google Sites works is sometimes you, you need to choose pages um, for menus and so forth, and being able to identify what page has what information on it is going to be really valuable in the end. So just calling it unit one, it might work uh, for you for a little bit, but if you wanted to do something cool with the page or, you know, it might be hard to look through everybody's unit one pages uh, if it's all generically labeled. So do something like honors English 10 unit 1. Then you want to click and choose the unit page. And this one is a really important template to use because it's going to save you a lot of time. Then you want to put it uh, under honors English 10. Okay, that's the course that you're actually doing. So you're going to be doing this for the unit 2, unit 3, unit 4, and so forth. You're going to click on create page and then it's selected here. So imagine if, now these are your recent changes. If you called them all unit one, it would be, and you would be looking through all your unit ones. That would be hard. So again, I would really encourage you to call it something that you can track back. Click on okay. And then there's a link there. I'm going to click on save. So then if I click on the unit one, Haha, -ha. it gives me this, uh, it's a file cabinet page actually, but it already has some things on here that I'm going to be using. So that's it uh, for creating uh, unit pages for the Liberty High School Curricular Resources website.